Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. I thought I would come on tonight and do a little bit a a a little bit of a haul video. Um, I after Pukachu had his appointment, I stopped by a couple of stores today. Which, by the way, Pukachu's appointment did not go so good um, as we feared. He is going to have to have the surgery, and I'm actually quite upset about it. So, you know what does Grandma do when she's upset? She colors. So I'm going to be sitting down to color here pretty soon. But I wanted to come on and just address a few things, show you a few things that I picked up today, and um, just say that I hope you guys know that I do the best I can do on these videos, and I screw up constantly. I am so sorry I forgot to put the link for Laura's website. Um, Laura's the one that did the card that I showed you guys last night or today, whenever it was. Um, the CC Designs card that I showed you. Laura's, um, I didn't link her her site or I didn't link where the stamp could be purchased. I did purchase mine last night. I've done all that now. I've answered those replies um, in the comments and I still have a ton of emails and private messages to answer. I promise I will get to them tomorrow. That's my list for tomorrow to do. So if you have emailed me, emailed me, private messaged me, or um, had questions for me, I am going to deal with those. Not deal with them like it's a bad thing, but you know, I'm going to answer those tomorrow. And then I'm going to compile a little Q&A from some of the questions that I get on here to um, just answer a few questions. And I'm going to work on that tomorrow as well as do a demonstration of the product I'm going to show you now and a giveaway. So, with all that being said, let me show you where I went today. So I went to two different stores today, as well as a grocery store, which so doesn't count here, now does it? I went to Michael's because I was looking for um, just a couple of things in particular. A few of them were on that Christmas clearance, but they weren't there. I was looking for some um, boy-ish paper um, for Valentine's and that didn't happen so I'll have to be ordering that online and I was also looking for something else that I didn't find but I did come across this and I know I saw somebody else show it as well so this is kind of like the Misty I think it might be the smaller I don't know because I haven't opened it yet um, but this is the only thing I got at Michael's. I picked this up. It is the Hampton Art Stamp Perfect is what they're calling it. So um, tomorrow morning I'm going to upload a video. I might do it tonight, but I'll upload it tomorrow. I'm going to upload a video. Um, I'm going to open it up, show you what it looks like out of the box, and compare it to my two products, which are the Misty Small and Misty Large. Um, and tell you how it compares, tell you what I think about it, and then I'm going to box it back up and do a giveaway because I have no need for three of these products in my home. So that's my plan. So I purchased this because I just wanted to review it and see what it's like. I don't really want it. I just want to play with it for a minute. So there's that. Um, it looks very interesting. I'll let you know how I feel about the quality of it compared to the quality of mine. I've told you I've had some issues with mine already, so I'll just let you know what I think and we'll do all that tomorrow. I might do it tonight. You may see it tomorrow, okay? So I got that at Michael's. The only thing I found at Michael's, so disappointing. I found nothing at Michael's. Okay, next I went to Hobby Lobby. Now, we have never had a Hobby Lobby in my town. The nearest one was about, oh, an hour and a half drive. So I went there one day, just one time, actually twice. I was foolish enough to go on a Sunday not knowing they're not open on Sundays for a Sunday drive and um, that didn't work well for me. So then we went back another time about a year later and I was able to go into my very first Hobby Lobby store and I liked it. I really did like it. Um, so today, now, this week, last week actually it opened, we have one that's just literally a block away from my house. So I stopped in last week when they opened just to kind of look at all the pretties real quick and I left. I didn't buy anything. I was actually only in there for five minutes. Today I went back and I browsed 
and I came across a couple of things that I wanted to give a try. So one of the things that I picked up is actually going to be going into our Win It Wednesday box for when I, um, when I, when I feature Sizzix. I did find that Crazy Birds set with the birds, the hat, the, the present, the tie, the balloons, the hearts, all of it with the embossing folder, with all the die cuts. I was able to find it that I was telling you about. I knew they had it. So I'm going to be putting that into the Win It Wednesday bucket and that will come up one, one Wednesday. So I was happy to get that. So that's going to go into the bucket right now. And then I was able to get the Sizzix adhesive sheets. These are the ones that um, Stephanie Bernard shows us all the time when she does her backing and papers. And you get 10 sheets. They were $4.99, but they were 50% off. So there you go, like $2.50 each. So I'm excited. I have something else by another maker, but I'm excited to try these on some of those My Favorite Thing flowers that I have. So I'm happy to have those. So I picked up two of those. Would have gotten more. There was only two there. And then I picked up this little beauty. Now, I bet you're asking, why? Why did you pick up that big piece of wood? What do you need it for? Well, one, it's a pillow. But two, I think, you can only see it from the top. But I think if you're looking at it from the side, with a card sitting on top of it. Huh, where's a card? Where's a card? Oh, well, let's do this one. But I think if you were looking at it from this angle with a card on top of it, it would make a very lovely backdrop for a card. So I'm changing that up a little bit. I've got a corner of my desk over here that I've designed just to be where I take pictures of my cards. I brought in all this natural lighting and that's where all the pictures are gonna be taken. I have a light box that I bought for this, but I'm going to be destashing the light box because I found that I like it more open around the space and creating my own look. So I bought this for that. So now the cards can sit up like that. They've got this nice little faux wooden thing to sit on if I want to do that. So this was half price. So I paid, I think, $9.99 for this looks like really aged wood and it's the same on both sides so that's an that's an awesome thing so I picked that up that's just for picture props I don't want to get it wrinkled though and then I picked up some loose papers that are going to go behind my props my different props that I make for my photos I have some bigger ones in a box that I keep that I already use but I bought some more so I got this little wood grain these were half off of 59 cents, so that they were hardly anything. And then I got some ocean waves because, yeah, that would look super cute behind almost any little ocean scene card, right? And then I picked up um, some linen, which I always love linen anyway. I think it's a very classic way to display a card all the time. I think linen looks great. And then I picked up a lighter wood that looks all chabbied up and again that looks awfully pretty when you're showing a piece when you're showing your card as well so pretty happy with that and then I picked up these two pieces of heart paper one is going to be for me to use for Valentine's Day and the other one is going to sh be for me to showcase little cards and that would be super pretty as well so I got those papers I'm going to put them in the box with my other large papers so that I don't get them messed up. And then I bought one more thing. Well, two more things really, but I bought this. So it's a little octagon. It's a shelf, it's white on the inside. Let's see if it says what it is. Nope, just home decor. All right, so it's a little octagon. It's going to be sitting up on my wall like this, right? And the way I'm going to be using it is it's going to be sitting up. I'm trying to find a place where I can actually prop it up. So it's going to be sitting up like that. 
I can cut octagon pieces in the back for a foreground background if I want and my card whatever card it is will be sitting on here get back down there you octopus you will be sitting in here and I'll insert a picture but he'll be sitting in there and then this light that I have up here shines down in there and bam I get a perfect picture every time so this will be sitting over here on my desk on the top so I can dress up the inside of this box with whatever I want pearls seashells whatever I want to put around there to dress it up that's going to be the place where I take the picture of all my cards from now on super pretty I might even drill a hole in here for a small light to go down in there as well or you we might even put one on each haven't decided yet but that's what I'm going to do I just want one place to where I can sit all my cards and have them all be the same all the time but I want it to be out on my wall all the time so that it's easier for me to do. So I picked this up. I'll insert a picture of the light shining on it so you can see it. And that's what I picked up today, guys. That was it. That was all I could find in both those stores. I walked around Hobby Lobby for a good hour, at least a good hour. Lots of new stuff, all smelled brand new. Loved it. I cannot say I enjoyed my Michaels experience one bit. They had nothing they had nothing they really did they had no no great valentine stamps they had no paper like i was looking for they had they had nothing i'm quite saddened but whatever um i always have online and so yeah that's it so stay tuned for tomorrow's video where i'm going to compare the hampton art stamp perfect to my Misty, big or small, or both. And then we will be doing a giveaway on that product. So I will see you tomorrow. I love you guys very much and have a great evening and bye for now.